Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Man hey. Podcast. Tune Break in every day. Back. Please tune in every day. All streaming platforms. All streaming platforms. I'm a new man. new man. I'm no longer the same. Cause when Christ get on that cross, bro, my life forever changed. I'm a new man, new man. justified by faith. His love and grace, I forever embrace. I'm a new man, new man. transformed by grace, justified by faith. Jesus took my place. I'm a new man, new man. redeemed and free. free. His sacrifice I receive, I, I believe. believe. Yeah, dude. I'm a new man. new man, I'm no longer the same. Nope. Cause when Christ got on that cross, my, my life forever changed. changed. Yeah, yeah it did. I'm sharing this message far and near. near. Letting the world know that we ain't got yeah. nothing to fear. Yeah. yeah, I'm a new man, new man. justified by faith. His love and grace, how forever it breaks. Yeah. I'm a new man. new man, transformed by grace, justified by faith. Jesus took my place. The Lord moves in action on our behalf when we pray and believe. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God, for surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt it in his heart, but believe that those things he say will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Mark 11, 22 to 24. It is the Lord's good pleasure to do for us what we ask when we step out in faith. Faith is pleasing to God and it gets his attention. When our attention is on him, his attention is on us. When we seek to please him, he seeks to please us and grant us what we ask. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews 11 and 6. Our faith in Christ identifies us as being those on the winning team. He has overcome the world so that all those who have been won into the kingdom have in the same token won the victory over the world. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. 1 John 5 and 4. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Matthew chapter 5 gives an account of two people who acted in faith despite the devastating circumstances they were experiencing. Jarius had just implored the Lord to come heal his daughter who was at the point of death when the woman with the issue of blood reached out and touched the Lord the Bible says that she believed that even if she could touch the hem of his garment Jesus was wearing she would be healed What incredible faith. Jesus immediately stopped and asked, Who touched him? When he learned of her story, he told her, Your faith has made you well. While he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house who said, Your daughter's dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not be afraid, only believe. Mark 5, 35-36 Jairus had a choice in that moment. 
to believe the messenger who had just sent by the eyewitness who were with his daughter, which word would carry more weight? Jesus immediately spoke to Jairus, do not be afraid, only believe. In essence, he was saying, I know what you've seen, Jairus. I know what you just heard from the messenger, but I need you to keep your eyes on me. I need you to trust my words over every other word right now. Don't let that report bring any doubt into your mind because I'm still heading to your house. I haven't changed my mind. I haven't swayed by this news and I'm not too late. Just trust me. Psalm 16 and 1 says, Preserve me, God, for in you I put my trust. When we hear reports that seem impossible to overcome, we must not rely on our own understanding. The power of God defies all human reasoning. He's capable of doing more than we can even ask or even imagine. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. We must continue being grounded in this faith, standing steadfast in our hope in Christ because he who has promised is faithful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for being faithful when we are not. Let's pray. I know, O oh Christ, that your spirit is in me to develop and mature your will in me. Show me how to resist the conforming powers of this world and respond to the transforming powers of your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.